So today what I'm going to show you is how to go on the internet and find what are called MIDI song files. And they teach you a lot about arranging music and they help you practice music a lot for karaoke if you wanted to build your own uh, karaoke soundtrack sort of program called Reaper and it's free. You play an instrument, either keyboards or piano, and you've got like an input device, like a hundred dollar audio input device. You get this MIDI file, and what you do is you bring it into Reaper. Once it's in Reaper, you choose to break it out into multiple tracks. Okay, and you see that I.O. beside lead guitar right up here. For any given track, you open up that I.O., okay, and then you make sure that the output of that MIDI track is actually going somewhere. And it should be set to this Microsoft so that you can actually hear the tracks. Okay, so you got to individually do that, give each one of these an output. And that will help you determine which is which, because for the most part, what I'm showing you is relating to drums. You get that track, you figure out which one's the drum track, and you isolate, you know which one it is, because you've listened to it. Here we have it soloed out by using this S button. And you can hear that. And it sounds pretty cheesy. You can just select the track itself. And make sure that this track is isolated, like it's white you go um, export project MIDI and then it says would you like to export the entire project but in this case we don't want to do that what we want to do is have it over here selected tracks only usually embed a tempo map so that we can store the original tempo of the of the actual song and then you pick somewhere to save it so now we have pulled the drum track out. Now we could do that for anything. We could pull the bass, we could pull the piano, individualize the tracks that we want and ditch the rest. Get them saved as individual MIDI files. Okay. Once we do that, okay, then we can go into this other program called MIDI File Mapper and this is also a free program. Okay, and um, the MIDI File Mapper allows us to convert a given MIDI track over to the drum machine format that we're going to use in our DAW like Reaper or whatnot. So if you're using Easy Drummer or in a case of my situation I use Addictive Drums. Okay, This is my actual music computer and that's the only thing that lives on this computer and it's got two monitors. I actually got all this from the dump but anyway now what I've done is I've imported, I decided to keep two tracks, percussion and a Fender Rhodes track. So now I have a reasonably good sounding drum track for this song, in this case happens to be Jesus Just Left Chicago, okay? And so now, uh, now I can play to it. I can loop it, I can do whatever I like. Now in this case I'm using Ableton Live, but this could all be done in Reaper, which is free. And in fact, there are probably there's probably a free drum machine out there, um, you know, for Reaper that will do this very thing. If you don't want to spend any money at all, but I, I do like Ableton Live. It's really quite a good program, and uh, and Addictive Drums works for me. It's pretty straightforward. Okay, so then you proceed, if you like, to lay down guitar, bass, and some vocals, right? And so now I'm actually covering the song, so to speak. Jesus just left Chicago And it's bound for Well now Jesus just left Chicago And it's bound for New Orleans Yeah, yeah 
Working from one end to the other And all points in between 